<laughs> oh my gosh, this is the daily dose of dopamine, and that is Dr. Robert Cochran. I should fix my name, man. I, it reminds me, I'm going to go ahead and you, while you're leading us in, I got to put my title correct. You're right. You, right. Go ahead. And Susan, the first follower. Who Yay. Was the first questioner. <laughs> oh, the poor guy crazy in the early going of his uh, academic degree. But uh, don't, don't blow past that just for a moment, because that's the type of rigor. And there's that word that academia used in a broad sense. That's yours and Dustin's questioning was extraordinarily, is extraordinarily helpful. It's, it, yes, you were both and are both kind and thoughtful, and you're both very dogged. You're very similar <laughs> in that respect because you both had terrific interest and terrific questions. You were, you were skeptical, positively skeptical. That's a good place to come from. It was, it was actually a fun experience to be very enthusiastic about something that was completely bewildering to me. And that's why I kept asking. Because I didn't understand it, and and eventually your answer was, you just gonna need to come and play with this. It's it's the only way you're gonna get it. Because you told me that that's the thing. I, I knew what I knew, but like we said earlier, the more I gave you, the more I feared you could be you could follow my path. And 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 this is the hero's journey. This is why the hero's journey fits in so well to this. Gosh, when I think about it, and you, <laughs> I think you rewatched Finding Joe recently. They made a big point of that where they said, if you follow someone else's path into the woods, you're on the wrong path. Yeah. You have to go your own path as difficult and arduous as it might be. That's the only way to get on your, your own hero's journey is to go your own path. And you know, mine came to me in a dream and it was a bizarre dream. Mm -hmm. And it was as real to me as if it had really happened in real life. And so that became the template, if you will, the path through my hero's journey. And so it felt really authentic and really real. But I mean, I was, I was really fighting for myself. It wasn't anybody else's story. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it's tremendous as we're looking back and listening and thinking about this right now to once again recognize the unbelievable value of the hero's journey in this because you know if this had been only an improv study it would have skipped across the surface we never would have got to the depth and understanding i think about your level of understanding and where you went from you know active i support you i i admire you to oh my gosh, I see it for me and watching you get your chest and heart ripped open. Yeah. And you had those dreams. And that remember, that was the first study. We, we had, you know, like you said, sandbox play with improv, as we were, but we didn't get to the clinical trial till a full year right. after the day one program. Yeah. You know, which again was, and it's so crazy, it was accidental almost. Yeah. The way that came about, right? Yeah. I mean, Thank God for Dustin saying, no, I think you have something here. And thank God for the Parkinson's Foundation funding it, you know, seemingly out of the blue to me. Like, <laughs> I, I got the grant. Hey, okay. let's say this. Thank God you were familiar with Joseph Campbell. Yeah. Yeah. Through various uh, uh, ports of entry throughout your lifetime. It, it wasn't just a one go around. It, you, you were pretty, pretty well schooled in it. So you can take us through it. Yeah, there, and, and again, seeing that through this lens was so unique. And there's another guy who I would love to get in here to the dose. I certainly, he's one of, I've just got so many people I've been reaching out to and there's so many more to share this with, to basically thank them and talk about the latest and greatest. His name is Robin. I think I've mentioned him to you. He was my professor at UCLA. He was the first one in that screenwriting program who helped it make sense to me that I think I had three professors before him and I was, I was treading water. It was like, I'm a UCLA, one of the top screenwriting schools. I'm scared out of my gourd that I just don't know what I'm doing. And, you know, they all have these uh, particular Sid Field and Lajos Egri, these other, you know, very straight down the line uh, screenwriting coaches and, and, and mentors that I'm reading. And he presents to me Joseph Campbell via Chris Vogler. He goes, you might like this. This is a little different take on it. And it just went, your mind. That's what screenwriting is. Oh, wow. But he's the guy. Wow, that's so cool. 
and th there's so much more to share about him, which I will do another time because he deserves his own thing. And hopefully we'll get him on the dose soon. But this is the moment of reflection to look back and say thank you. So to Robin out there, maybe we'll send this to you. Uh, come join us on the dose and thank you. Yeah. <laughs>